What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel Smoking and Grilling with me AB. Now you seen their wings, you know they fire, you read that thumbnail, so check it out. I'm getting ready to show you guys just how easy it is to make some honey barbecue wings. Now I always say this term, you know, my saying right here, I'm not gonna over talk it, but once you see these ingredients, you'll see why we going back to the basics. We gonna do the oven, and let me just say this right now, my disclaimer is listen, you can use your oven, you can use an air fryer, making your wings is just gonna be the same like everybody else. You can even out, do them outside on the grill. It doesn't make a difference. We are gonna start off like wing stock. They're gonna all start off the same. It's all in the coat. So with that being said, let's go over these ingredients. Now check this out. I did it this way, man. Instead of having all those bowls out like that, all of these are a teaspoon and a half of each ingredient. And by the way, you can see it written on the screen right now, all ingredients, the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. All right, we got barbecue sauce. We got a little ketchup. We got honey and some butter. And this, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that because we're not doing nothing with it. So, and then you gotta have the star. This is the star of them all. This right here is the wings. This is about, this is almost four pounds, but this is like, yeah, about three and a half pounds of uh, wings. So, with that being said, what I'm getting ready to do now is, I'm getting ready to preheat our oven. Follow me with, you know, you guys, this is gonna be real simple. We're gonna go ahead and preheat to 425 degrees. Now, while we have that going, now we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and take my dry ingredients, get my, you know, Hey, I, I read the comments. I see y'all be talking about I be having that small, you know, whisk or whatever. We just gonna whisk all this together, just like you see right here, right? Real simple. Now, I'm gonna set this off this side. Let's make some room here. Now, the reason I got this paper towel in here, because I've already cleaned, you know, and rinsed these wings. So what I did was I put this in there, even though I patted them dry, so any residue from them being wet, you know what I mean, from the water, it'll just, you know, be absorbed in this. So let's go ahead and take this out. And as you can see, it worked. Okay, so remove the towel. Now, we take our dry ingredients after we mix them up. Now, I'm not gonna use all of this in the first go around. We just gonna sprinkle something like this over the top. Maybe like, you just wanna get like about halfway, half of it, right? And then just go ahead and just start turning them over. You know, and the reason what we're doing right now is just trying to get the dry ingredients to like spread and to basically just coat all of the wings, right? And then we'll go and use the rest. Like now that we have some on there, we'll just sprinkle some of this on. And hey, real simple. And you can make a whole lot of these. I don't know, man, you, you double this recipe, you can double this on a, a baking sheet. Just think about that. You have a company, you just wanna have wings for everybody. Super easy, but I will tell you this, have your towel, your towelettes, what else they call them? Uh, your wet naps, have those, cause these can get messy. And these right here are seasoned right. And you'll be able to smell it. It's got that barbecue flavor, that barbecue aroma, you know, to them. Now, now they'll look just like that. You can see the seasoning, you can see the coloring, so you know everything has a seasoning on them, right? So now let's just go ahead. I got some uh, tongs right here, but I'm not gonna use those. Hey, listen, they'd be much faster if you just use your hand. But we washing all the time anyway, right? So we'll just line it this way. Now, it's real important, if you watch, I'm laying them out, right? It depends on how many you are doing. Like say you doubled the recipe, you have to use two pans, right? But most importantly, you wanna make sure you got just like a little bit of space in between so that when it's in the oven, the heat can get all around it, you know, and so it can cook evenly. That's like the most important thing. Okay, so you can see, got them all lined out. My oven is up to temp, so now we're gonna put it in. Don't forget, that was 425 degrees, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them in, for, we're gonna set a timer for 20 minutes. And then after 20 minutes, we're gonna flip them over and then reset another timer. All right, so let's put these in. Okay, so listen, you just saw we got our, you know, our wings in the oven, right? So after the first 20 minutes, when we pull those out, after we flip them over, then we're gonna put them back in the oven. When we set that timer, that's when we're gonna start making our sauce. And those are the, these are the ingredients that you see right here. That's the butter, ketchup, barbecue sauce, you know what I mean, and the honey. So, remember, that's after the 20 minutes. Now, after the timer goes off, the first 20 minutes are done. What you see me doing right here is flipping them. Real easy, just flip them, maintain that space in between, set yourself another timer, and put them back into the oven for another 20 minutes. Now, once we have our, our wings back in the oven for our last 20 minutes, this is the time that you start working on your uh, your sauce, right? So what you wanna do is you wanna melt your butter. I melt my butter on just a medium heat. Okay, as soon as this you know, butter melts, 
As you can see, listen, it melts quick using this induction top, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just start adding my rest of my ingredients. So just got myself this spatula right here so I can get everything out of the cups. But you're really gonna need a small spatula just to get your honey out, you know? So we'll just get it like this. No need to clean it off because look, it all gets combined together. So then we add our honey. And I gotta say this too, that listen, there's no particular order. You can put the honey in first, however you wanna do it. And then our ketchup. Now when it comes to your barbecue sauce, you guys use your favorite brand barbecue sauce. Listen, that's what's gonna send it over the top for you. It's something that you already like. You just add a couple little ingredients to it just to make it sweeter. And uh, you know, make it, you know, a little bit on the savory side. And then what we're gonna do is we just gonna get this. And what I wanna do now is I wanna bring this up to a boil, right? Not really like a tough boil, but just like once it starts to boil, then we're gonna reduce our heat down to a simmer and we're gonna let this cook down a little bit along, you know, side our uh, chicken that's in the oven. Now you can see it's starting to boil. You know what I mean? You can see some of the bubbles starting to form. So just get yourself, you know, a whisk. And because I'm using a non-stick pan, right? Notice that I'm using these rubber whisks like this. This right here, you don't want to scrape up the bottom of getting out of this chemical in your food, you know? So listen, having the right tool for the job is even healthy also. Now, we'll just keep moving it across like this. I can see it now. You can see it right there. It's starting to do its thing. You know what I mean? So once we get just a few more bubbles, I'm gonna go ahead and just reduce my heat, probably down to like a medium. I'm gonna go down to 330 degrees. We'll leave it like that. I'm gonna put my top on and then we're just gonna let it cook down. All right, now you guys can see, take a look at these right here. These right here look nice. I know some of y'all saying, where's that ranch? Cause you ready to dip them in there right now. Oh yeah, got a nice little crisp. You know, the skin is a little crisp. That's what I'm talking about. Now let's go ahead and take a look. Let me get my whisk. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at our sauce. Now, look, you could just see it thickened up, right? I'm gonna leave the top off. And what I did was I slowed it down by putting the lid on the top. You guys don't have to do that, but just to make sure that this was gonna be ready right at the same time as the, them coming out of the oven, so I slowed them down. Then when we got close, I'm gonna show you what I did. If you look at this lid, it got holes in it right here, right? So if I turn this around, put it where the pour spout is, you can let the steam out. So when you start rendering down, you know, your barbecue sauce, it'll let it out. All right, so I'm gonna let it kick up just a little bit more. We're gonna go ahead and put these wings in a bowl. Then we're gonna pour these, this on the wing, and we finna toss. Now here, listen, you can look at my bowl right there. You can see it has high sides on it, which makes it much easier for me to make, you know, toss, right? So once you put all your wings in there, and this is just another example so you can see the depth of the bowl. Okay, so got them in a bowl. I got this big metal bowl because it got these high sides, right? Make it easier just to toss. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this. You know, this is our sauce. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it. You know, it's done thickened up. You can see some of the steam coming off of it because it's nice and hot. I'm gonna just save just a little bit back, right? Now, you guys can see right there. Now we're just gonna go ahead and toss them. It's almost like, you know, working at a wing stop or something like that. You know what I mean? But this is putting them in your place. You made them your way. They nice and hot. And you guys can take a look at this right here. Look right there. What you think? Now what I'm getting ready to do is I'm getting ready to get my plate. We finna dress it up nice so that I can go ahead and eat me a couple of these. So if you guys been watching me for a while, you know I always say like the plate is like one of the most important things also. You know what, it gives you that like, I guess I would say it gives you that, you know, sense of pride when you put it on a plate, you put it out there for your family and friends to enjoy. And then when they all look at that, you looking at it also and you can say, hey, I did that. Hey, so check it out. You guys just seen it. Uh, hey, I don't want to over talk it. I just want to eat one of these. Now this is one of the one, one of the one times that I hadn't like just sampled it. Listen, we make this all the time at the pad, right? So look, let's just go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these. Hey, don't forget to get your uh, your towelette or your wet naps or whatever. But look at that, look at that coating. So when you get your barbecue sauce right and it thickens up right, look how it holds, it doesn't run. I'm not gonna dip yet, cause what we gonna do is we gonna go ahead and taste this. So you guys see it, let's just go ahead and make it happen. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. 
And you can see, and you can see like, look, with that seasoning, how it coated like the meat. I hope you guys can see that. <clears throat> uh, you can taste it. <laughs> hey, let me enjoy this. This is good. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and dip some in this ranch. And you'll see I'll sprinkle some chives over the top, right? These are chives out of my garden. You know what, I'm just so glad I don't have to buy chives ever again. So let's just go ahead and hit it like this. You know what I mean? Look at that right there, y'all. Oh man, hey. Welcome to AB's Wings Place. Hmm. Mm. I'm gonna tell y'all this, this is my dip. I'm finna dip this whole wing in there and I'm finna get down, folks. Hey, so let me wash my mouth, finish this wing up, and then we gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Man, hey, all the time I'm saying I don't wanna like over talk it, I don't wanna sell it to you guys. You've seen the picture, listen, just as cool as that, just as good as that, that thumbnail look, that drew you in. Hey, with that being said, listen, try this, come back, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. A lot of you guys are probably already making this anyway. We didn't reinvent the wheel, but I'm gonna tell you the truth is, listen, this is my barbecue sauce. I use the spicy version, you know what I mean? That was enough to give it a nice little kick with that honey, ooh, and just that ketchup. Hey, hands down, this is the way to make it. So check this out. Listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And so if any of you guys have been watching me for a minute, you know how I wrap these up. I'm gonna hit you with that what? Peace.